Hey there, I'm Andrew, and over the last few months, I've been covering AI projects from the Mattermost open source community, and today I'm talking about the latest project, OpenOps. Everyone is in a race to deploy AI, but we need a customizable way to explore and innovate with these new tools. In this video, we'll set up OpenOps, an open source platform for using AI in a secure environment. Then we'll plug OpenAI's ChatGPT into it. OpenOps is a framework of several tools that lets you try models in a sandbox. You can tinker and establish the right workflow practices for your team before rolling out to more folks. Simply put, it's both your screening process and your workshop for AI, all in one place. Deploying the OpenOps sandbox includes the following components. Mattermost, your hub for messaging, automation, integrations, audio calling, and screen share. The Mattermost AI plugin, an extension of that platform for generative AI. It's configurable for remote and local models. Postgres, your database for securing the private data from the Mattermost application. And local AI, your lo open source API service for local models. So let's get started. First, navigate to the OpenOps repository in the Mattermost GitHub organization. Today we'll be using the local install instructions from the README. Start by cloning the repository to your local machine. Inside of this folder, there's an init bash script. This bash script is what starts your entire sandbox. It's going to initialize the Docker Compose that has your database and Mattermost. And if you're using local models, it's going to also include local AI. And it's going to install the latest Mattermost AI plugin to your local deployment once you do so. It's also going to create your team, channel, and admin user for yourself to access Mattermost and easily speed past all of the onboarding. That way you can get straight to development. To run this script, we need to provide an environmental variable for backend. In this case, we're configuring it for open AI because we're gonna use ChatGPT. You can run this command in your terminal and it's going to start your Docker Compose and then run through the script, installing everything here. I encourage you to check out what everything here is doing to understand more about what's happening, but simply put, it's abstracting the starting process, that way you can get right in the pilot seat. Now that the init bash script is finished running, we're presented with the URL that we can use to log into Mattermost. It's going to drop us into a direct message with the AI bot, so we can directly communicate with it from the very beginning. But first, we'll also need to run this configure open AI bash script and provide it with our open AI API key. This is going to configure the plugin locally on your machine. As you can see here, all it's doing is updating the configuration file for Mattermost. You can also do this in the system console once you log in to your local Mattermost deployment. In this case, I've already configured my open AI in another window, and it has my API key so that now I can talk to the model. I'm going to copy my password and navigate to the URL provided. I'm going to log in as my root user with the password. And as I mentioned, I'm put now in a direct message with the AI assistant. Since I've configured it, I can now talk to it directly. The AI is ready to respond to my commands. And now I can explore the functionality provided by the Mattermost AI plugin, as well as think of new ways to integrate and use this AI with the conversations that are happening with my team. You're now in a self-hosted, multi-user, open source operational hub with tooling for chat, automation, and now AI with a database where all of your conversations are secured under your control. This is just the starting point. And now that we have a sample environment working, Let's explore some possible use cases from a server that I've set up with some example messages. This is an example server that I've set up with OpenOps to demonstrate some of the functionality. It has messages that are coming in from webhooks and other sources like from Zapier and GitHub. And it also has channels where conversations are happening between real people talking about the work that they're doing. 
this is a great environment to demonstrate some of the features that come with the Mattermost AI plugin included in OpenOps. The first of which is streaming conversations back from the bot. Something that you may have noticed is that when you ask a question to the bot, it streams the response back to you. It doesn't give you one message at the end, but it streams the content live from the model as it's inferencing for you. This is similar to the functionality that you might experience in other spaces where you're using models naturally. For example, I can ask the bot, what is Mattermost? And the response it gives me will not be a final response, but instead the streamed response from the bot. So I can see it thinking and replying to me in real time. This is pretty similar to other AI experiences that you may have had while developing on other platforms. Any thread on Mattermost can also be summarized for you by the AI. And when the AI summarizes it, it takes the context of who you are and uses that to provide the information that's most helpful to you with the summary. So for example, I can take this thread about making weekly public meetings, using calls and providing a transcript. And instead of reading the long conversation provided here, I could ask the AI to summarize this thread for me. The response that comes back from the AI is again, a streamed response from the model, and it's going to provide a in-depth summary of what happens in the thread. Now that it's finished summarizing, if I had follow-up questions or wanted to get further information from the AI, I'm now in a threaded conversation with it, and I could ask it questions that are personalized to me. For example, I could ask, why would we use regex? If I were someone that didn't understand why using a regular expression in this case is useful, the AI would be able to give me context. And this is just one example of the AI leveraging who you are and the context that you may have to give you a personalized response. And this is functionality that can be further expanded because you're interacting with Mattermost as a user. The AI could also receive, for example, the audio transcript from a Mattermost call and then provide a summary for the channel where that call took place. Here's an example on our community server with our weekly developer meeting, which is open and available to the public. And after all of these meetings, the AI summarizes what happens, provides key points from the discussion, and any follow-ups that may be relevant. So folks who didn't attend the meeting or want to get additional context can read this to get an understanding of what was discussed without having to watch a recording or crawl through a transcript. You may have also noticed that responses from the AI have a thumbs up and thumbs down in the bottom corner, and these allow you to provide feedback to the AI. So in future iterations, the AI could take the response given from you about if that reply was helpful and use that to contextualize and improve itself moving forward. The AI can also, of course, understand the sentiment of any piece of text, so you can use that to have it react to something for you. In this case, it reacts with a pondering emoji because we're thinking about a possible solution. The AI understands what's happening in the conversation. The AI also understands what's happening in channels. This is a channel that's streaming information from all of our GitHub repositories for Mattermost, and there's a lot of noise in here. If I wanted to cut through that noise and understand what's going on through the context of me, I can use AI to summarize what's happening here. So I can ask the AI, please summarize the last 20 messages. And it's going to stream a response that's summarizing what's happening in all of these individual messages. And ultimately, these are just the starting point. OpenOps is a way for you to explore ways to integrate this kind of AI with your organization. To get involved in the conversation, use the links below to join the Mattermost community and chat with us there. We'd love to see what you're working on. And thanks for watching.